guys, it's Chloe and we're back with another video. You guys, I'm so excited because I have my friend. Do you see her? Do you see her over there looking all beautiful? <laughs> so as promised, I told you we were coming back with an interview. All right, so I got a couple of questions I want to ask and she going to introduce us into this book and these men and her experience and all that good stuff. But I'm going to let her introduce herself and then we're going to jump right into it. It's all yours. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Chloe kids. <laughs> Clans. Thank you for having me, Chloe. I love you. I appreciate you uh, interviewing me for my book, 23 Times of Guys You Might Meet on Social Media. My name is Janice. I have the channel Church Girls Want to Get Married too, and um, study the Bible in one year. So I'm excited to be here with you guys. I'm excited, Chloe. I'm excited too. Janice, why did you write this book? Well, I wrote this book because I am a writer. I love to write. I have I have written several books. The one before that was called The Naked Wife. Um, and with this book, I wanted to write and let women know that there are different types of guys out there. Right. Not every man you meet wants to marry you. There are some men that you're going to meet that's just going to want to, you know what to you. Mm -hmm. um, there are some men that's looking to be taken care of. There is some men that is looking for a nurse. You know, there are some men that's looking for shelter and all of that stuff. So we need to carefully vet these men ladies if we want to be married and not waste time with a lot of these men it's just it's just a waste of our time i totally agree trust me uh, i had a lot of men that wasted mm -hmm. my love well, then again i think i was wasting all the time <laughs> i'm guilty of being one of the girls that was wasting all the time playing all the games because i thought that like you know men play games so we had to play games too so I always was mm -hmm. one of the girls that was like, I'm not about to be taking none of this serious. Like, if you want to play a game, I can play that game too. You want this? Well, I want this. You know, you want this? You're right, going to have right. to pay for this in some type of way. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So I always, right. you know, play them games as well. So I think that this is going to be really, really good, especially for the girl that wants to, like, settle down and get married. Oh. I know men out of this book. What three men would you pick that I would say, are the ones to really watch out for because i picked three that i think were like real common but what do you think uh -huh. okay so for me for one to watch it for is mr mr sex and mr eye candy and mr physical because we like a good looking man you know he he could be tall and good looking but he's abusive he's lying he's cheating but because he's tall and he's good looking then we'll we'll overlook him okay mm -hmm. to watch out for um mr faiths for the christian girls you know a lot of women um will fall for Mr. Faiths, even if he's not. I know lots of church girls who have married men who are not believers. Mm. And it just kind of puzzled me. I mean, last year, one girl, she got married to, and she had to, um, what is the word? But basically say, Jesus is not Lord. Like, Ooh. how do you do that? You know what I mean? And you've been raised in the church. You was a missionary in the church and serving in the church. But because you want to get married, you marry this man of another faith and you have to reject, reject. But that's not the word. It's going to come to me. You like have convert. to reject the Lord Jesus. The, yeah, she had to convert. But in order for her to convert, she had to be like, you know, Jesus is not real. Wow. He's not the son of God. And I'm like, how do you do that? Uh, Mr. Builder Males. Mm. We have to watch out for Mr. Builder Males because we're nurturers. We're, you know, we're mom and we want to fix the house. And, you know, they, they tell us, man, give you the house, but you set the atmosphere. And I, I don't believe that. That is not true. And because we're nurturers, we automatically want to take a man and fix him up. Like we think we can, oh, he don't want to get a job and he can't keep a job. Well, I'm gonna get him to get a job and I'm gonna get him to take a job. And I see a lot of a lot of women falling for the for that guy. I think most women fall for Mr. Mr. Uh, Build a male more than any other guy. Do you think that there's an exception to the rule when it comes to build a man? You know, like um I, okay. Girlfriend is 22. They were college sweethearts. They graduated. She um, got a teaching career. 
<coughs> excuse me, she's working, she got her own apartment. He's like, well, she wants to get married. Mm. Well, he's like, well, I love her, but I'm not ready to get married. I'm still at home. I'm about to go to graduate school. And she's saying, well, you can move in with me and I make enough money and I can take care of you. And he's like, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to establish myself as a man first. And I told him, I said, stay home with you, break up with her. Cause she's, it says connection is unstable. I took, can you see me? Yeah, you're freezing a little uh, bit though. Okay. Okay, I told her break up with her because she's ready to get married right now. Because we, we girls, we're ready to get married. 22, 25, we're ready. Right. But at 22, he's not ready. He's not ready. You know, he's in school. He wants to go get his master's engineering and he wants to be be um, established. And so in that instance, she would be building and taking care of him. And when he got older, 30, 35, mm. he would break up with her and go find a woman that can appreciate him for the man she made him into be. Ooh. Because she will always be able to say, I build you, I made you, when you mm. didn't have nothing, I paid the rent, I put money in your pocket, and no no man is going to put up with that for too long. Correct. So in that situation, I'm like, no, break up with her because she's ready to get married. You're not ready to get married. So yes, there is an exception. Wow. <clears throat> That's deep. Um, cause I mean, just being, you know, thinking from my 22 year old self, right. I would be like, mm -hmm. you know, it's okay. I would be like her, like, it's okay. We got this. We in this together. We're going to build mm -hmm. together. Um, but now that you say it out loud, it makes perfect sense. Cause it's like, you know, sometimes a man will wants to provide and take care of, and if they can't, then they shouldn't be wanting to get married. So in this instance, That's it right. makes perfect sense. Okay, mm -hmm. so I was reading this book, right? Uh, and you said um, you made a lot of statements that revolve giving out the cookie. Right. Say that again. I made a lot of statements what? that involve giving out your cookie. Uh huh. Right. So now. For the non, I'm going to say non-traditional woman, you know, the one that isn't like waiting uh -huh. for marriage to have sex and things uh -huh. like that. What would you tell her? Because I know like, you know how they say, oh, don't have sex on the first date. That's not what you're supposed to do. But there are some instances where people have sex on the first date and end up marrying that same person. Um, but it's uh -huh. very slim, but it happens. So like for uh -huh. the person who isn't necessarily waiting for marriage, um, what do you think would be a good amount of dates or um, when do you think it's best to take that next step? So I'm always going to say, wait, okay. I'm always going to say, but it's, it goes, it still goes back to vetting the guy. Right. Because we're, we're not going to assume that this man we meet is it. Okay. Okay. And that's, that's the mistake we make. We assume that this man I met, I like him, he, da, 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 that he's it, but you yeah. don't have all the data to know if he's it. I was working on my other book today and I said, I dated, I dated other guys along with my husband up to three months before he proposed to me. Oh. Three months. Yes. Oh. He didn't, I, he didn't make you like stop or like complain. No, or... that's 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 none of his business. I'm not committed to him. See, I don't believe in, in meeting a man and being committed to him. You know when I stopped dating, going out with other guys, accepting dates was when we went ring shopping. June. Okay. Wow. We met November. We met November. We went out for our first date around December. It took him a whole month to call me, y'all. A whole month he took to call me. Oh, he he made you wait. <laughs> and then I let him wait four days. And then once we started going, he asked to talk to my dad. And he met my dad a couple of times. And we were going out and told him he loved me. He told me April. And I said, thank you. You know why? Because I wasn't finished getting all the data, right. the information I needed to make a decision for him. So it was June, June, when we started going ring shopping, then I kind of cut everybody else because I had all my data then to make make an informed decision about him. So I think if, if you decide, I know people, you know, everybody's not a Christian or believe the traditional way. I love the way you said it, Claude. I'm going to use yeah. that. 
everyone is not after the traditional way, but it still is. I think it still goes back to what what do you want? Because some mm-hmm. people just want, you know. <laughs> Right. Everybody's not looking for commitment or marriage or whatever. Right. It goes back to what do you want? And then if you meet guys, don't make the assumption that he's it because you don't know he's it. I met another guy today, good, good friend of mine. And I didn't know this. He's 50. She's 47. He don't have any kids. She want to have kids. They've been dating for three years. They're engaged. Okay. She's 47 and a grandma and he want to have kids and she don't want to have kids. So when did you find out that information? Right. When did you get that data? So to me, it still goes back to make sure he is what you want. Don't just meet a man and assume that he's it. Make sure you get the information and vet this guy to make sure he's what you want. Okay. So in this book, you also, you do talk about collecting the data. Collect the yes. data. Collect yes, the data. Yes, Lord. Um, <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, so what do you think are some... Um, key points of data that we need to collect when we are, you know, picking through the men that we're dating, um, as far as like, you know, finances, um, romance, mm-hmm. like what, what do you think are the most important um, that most women would definitely say, hey, this is what needs to be set in the mm-hmm. beginning in order for me to even go to the next step with you. Right. So again, it goes back to depending on what you want, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So for me, my number one was he had to be a born again believer, right? Everybody's not looking for a man who is a believer. Another person, like for my Jewish girlfriend, she don't, he don't, you know, he have to be Jewish, but it goes back to what do you want? So every woman needs to know what you want. You need to have a list of the things I say 10, you know, we have this long list of a hundred. You can't remember a hundred things. Okay. (laughs) So I say 10 things because you have 10 fingers. You can write them on your finger. So you need to have those 10 things. And I say negotiables and non-negotiables. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get at. So my, my, my non-negotiables, which is I will not negotiate on it. If you don't have these things, Goodbye. So my number one non-negotiable is he had to be a born again Christian. So if I met a man who was not a born again Christian, uh, we ain't got no talk about it. Okay, call my daddy, he'll lead you to Jesus. Okay. Right. <laughs> number two is he had to be a tither because I know a lot of men who don't believe in tithing. And coming up in the church, I knew a lot of women who were married to unbeliever and husbands who, you know, they had it was hell to pay to for them to give anything to the church. Oh, so wow. that was that was big for me. And I was a tither. I believe in tithing. I live by tithing. Number three for me was a non-negotiable was he had to be a gentleman. I love a man who is a gentleman who reminds me of my father in the faith. So if I met a man who was a believer, was a tither, but was not a gentleman, like the one I went out with and he left me sitting in the car and he was in the restaurant and I was still outside. Goodbye. Number four for me, non-negotiable, was he had to have a good job. My dad said, the least a man, a.k.a. a husband, can just put a roof over your head and food on your table. So if I met a man that was not able to provide for me, independent of me, this is for the single ladies now. Okay. This is buffering a little bit. No, you're not buffering. You're fine. Okay, this is for the single ladies. I'm not talking to married women. Married women, if you're playing the bills, pay the bills and keep the peace in your house, okay? (laughs) But I'm saying for my single ladies, (laughs) don't disturb your house, girl. Don't disturb. (laughs) Pay pay your 50% and keep the peace. But I'm talking. I'm about to go right. I'm about, excuse me. Um, Jen said that. <laughs> it's about the single ladies who are dating for marriage. Okay, and right. I always, I always stress that part because you know, married women they go, "Oh, ah, I did say you need to be paid all the bills," and I'm like, "Don't be calling my name." <laughs> to your husband okay if you, whatever whatever the arrangement was when you got married keep the peace in your house so and he had to go to have a good job so my non nego my so those are non-negotiables okay okay and i'm gonna write i'm gonna write a book totally in that and then negotiables so for me i had a kid at 16 lexi this is my book i wrote for her oh in christ i am yes in christ i am so for me non-negotiable for me uh, negotiable was 
I could do a man who had a, had a kid or I prefer a man that didn't have a kid, but if he had a kid, you know. Yeah. Because you had a kid. You can't say I had no kid. kids and I got a kid. Right. So right. I was okay. okay. Um, I want to talk about Mr. Come Through. Oh, I feel Lord. like a yes. lot of women, a lot of women fall for Mr. Come Through Mr. and not Come even through. realize yeah. that that's what's happening. Um, what page is that on? That's on 135. So I'm going to read it, right? It says, LOL, Mr. Come okay. Through is like Mr. Drive Through Dangling. The difference is he is the one who texts us to say he's coming through. He wants you to get a meal prepared, put on his favorite lingerie, and be ready to service him. It's like you're a pit stop. You're trying to prove to him that your wife's material will, will get him will get to cooking and being sexy because Mr. Come Through is on his way. You are hoping he will see how special mm -hmm. you are. You know this man ain't never going to marry you. Please stop allowing Mr. Come Through to go through and come in you. Stop blocking your blessings, lady, and put a stop to Mr. Come Through for coming from coming through so you can have your breakthrough. Okay. Your breakthrough. <laughs> yes. Okay, you got to stop Mr. Coming Through from coming through so you can have your breakthrough. <laughs> hey, that's right. <laughs> now, Mr. Come Through, I feel like, is um, the guy who puts in just enough effort, right? Is that what I'm mm -hmm. getting from him? So yeah, I feel, yeah. That's why I wanted to get a little more in depth because it's like he's not, not paying you attention. And so you feel like you want to prove to him that you can right. be that wife. Mm -hmm. So what do you say about Mr. Come Through? And I know we have to show wifely qualities for a man mm -hmm. to want to wife us, right? So mm -hmm. how do we go about the balance of showing him I can be your wife, but not giving too mm -hmm. much to the point where he's like, uh, why marry the, uh, why, you know, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? I always hear mm -hmm. that, but I always never knew, know the difference. Because a man wants a woman who can cook, right? Well, most men do. Right. So, like, how do you prove to him that you can cook? Or how do you prove to him that, you know, that you can be a wife or the wife that he wants if right. without doing those wifely things? Okay. So, Mr. Come Through, he's not even the guy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm work. I have my other book. I'm working. I'm working on on how uh, what boy boyfriend benefits versus husband benefits. So Mr. Come Through is not even the guy. He's just using you for the cookie. Mm -hmm. Miss, that's that's Mr. And I this I'm laughing because I know this person. Like I know this person. Like I know this person. <laughs> I know this person, and I would always hear him tell the girls, "Yeah, I'm gonna come through later. I'm gonna come through." And we already know. And he ended up marrying somebody and he ain't married none of them child. He went through all of them ladies and he didn't he didn't marry not one of them. He's he's not the guy. He's just the guy that, like you say, he pays you right in just enough enough attention. He's coming to see you, so you think you're special, but he's not taking you out. He's not showing you to the world. Mm. He's not claiming you. You know, he's not trying to put a ring on it. He, you're just one of his little, you know. Well, let me just go through so and so <laughs> house. But he's not. He's not. He's not the guy. He's not it. He's just coming through just to get get him some cookies. So, what is the guy that we start doing those things for? Which one? So, I like Miss Mr. Wonderful. That's my husband, of course. So, Mr. Wonderful is the guy you're you vetted. Mm -hmm. And you know, okay, he's, um, okay, I'm looking for the same things. He's looking for the same things. He's showing interest. He's really, you know, for me, it was asking to meet my dad. He wanted to talk to my dad. And he wanted to talk to my dad about me. We were talking about marriage. He was talking to me about his income. You know, he was talking to me about all those things that he was making plans about getting married and so on and so forth. And he was just stringing me along. It was like he was... He was on it. My list, I was like, check. Oh, check. He's a tie. Check. He's a good man. Check. He's a gentleman. Check. Oh, he has a good job. Check. You want to have kids? Check. You know what I mean? He wanted yeah. to provide. Check. I want to get married. Check. We're going ring ring shopping. 
check, <laughs> but then you have these guys that string you along for two and three years, and I'm like, well, how long does it take to decide if he's the one? Right. I've seen people, I've seen men be with a woman for years. I mean, years, live together, have kids together, and never marry, marry her. End up marrying a girl that they met for four months and be like, wow, what in the world? Because, so I am a strong right, believer because, that a man will marry you if he really wants to. If he really and my dad said, a man no by three months. Bye. Right. He know a man, he said, I know a man know, and my husband knew in the, in the first month. He told me, he said, Oh, I knew, I knew I was gonna marry you. I knew you was the one. So my dad said, by three months. So if three months pass and ain't nothing happening. <laughs> that it was Mr. Fixer Upper. So we I was reading this uh -huh. and I struggled a little bit with this one. I struggled right. just a little bit because. There are men who talk about things that they want to do. And there are mm -hmm. men who actually talk about things they want to do and then do things behind it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. When when there's a man who say, oh, I want to, you know, I, I want to start a business and I want to do this and I want to do that. Um, when do you start realizing, like, I'm trying to put it how I want to put it. If you should help him to to get the business started, right? Should we should we invest in that? Invest our, invest our time in the the dreamer, the guy who wants who who has these visions for himself. Because I know a lot of times, even like you know, a lot of women is I stood by my man and I helped him get to this point, and I was by him every inch of you know every inch away, and look where he at now, and look how everything is for us and things like that, and it works out for some. But then we mm -hmm. have some of those who get to that point and then they leave you for someone else like as soon as they get where they want to be they go mm -hmm. find them that 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 girl that's you know not the typical holds you down type of uh you know female so what where's mm -hmm. where, where's the line at between helping build because i do believe that there's a, it's okay to help a man get to a certain point for you guys as a whole but mm -hmm. I do also feel that sometimes those same men let us down in the end. Mm -hmm. Is he my husband? Is this, <laughs> is this man my husband that I'm going to help him to, to build a business or is this a man I'm dating? So usually it starts off with being a man that you're dating, right? No, no, ma'am. No. No. So you don't invest no. any of your time until you no. are officially married. No, if I, if I, if I have to help you, if I, and again, I'm talking about my age group. If I have to help you, um, become, so it's, I'm going to help him to become the man I need him to be so he can be the husband for me. Right. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm just not going to do, do that. Because how we've seen it, we've seen it, and I don't want to call any names, but you know, just look in Hollywood about all the women who invest in these men, build them up, and then they leave him and go get the little young girl who want to get married. You want somebody who is a prepared husband, a man who has prepared himself to be a husband. I'm not saying you can't, you know, you're, you're married, you can't help and you can't encourage. I'm, that's not what I'm saying, but if I have to help you to perfect example I'm, i don't know if i have it. i knew a girl i knew a guy who always wanted to open up a mechanic shop mm. and so he met this girl and she had good credit and he she fixed him up and helped him up and did, did, did build up a mechanic and ran up her credit and got all of this and sure enough soon as he got on his feet he was done with her it'd be like that right it be like that. And I just mm -hmm. want a woman to just kind of, you know, this is why I don't believe in getting married too, too young. Because they're young. They're not ready. They're not like the 22-year-old guy. He's not ready. Right. She loves him. She is ready. But the 22-year-old right. boy who's about to go to school to get his master's is not ready. And that another reason I encourage women 
especially younger women to date older men because at 22, she could find a 28, 29, even a 30 year old guy that's ready to get married. But the 22 year old is, is not get, is not ready. So for me, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. All right. So, <laughs> so I got, so from our conversation, um, to sum it up, kind of, I've got that we need to definitely get the data on the men that we are dating. Okay. We need to yes. not, um, don't do wifely things thinking that he's going to make you a wife because nine mm -hmm. times out of 10, that's not, that's why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free. <laughs> that's right. Um, and mm -hmm. I also got, um, don't, don't settle for anything less than nope. what you're willing to negotiate. Right. Oh, I love the way you said that close. Say it again. <laughs> don't settle for anything uh, um, less than what you're willing to negotiate. Less. Right. To negotiate. Oh, I love that girl. Oh, I love it. If yep. I put it in my book, I'll give you credit. I love the way you said that. I love because, you know, we, we think about settling and compromise is the same word. And sometimes we have to compromise. A I had to compromise with my husband because I, I said I could go 10 years older and the, he's 12 years. And my girlfriend say, girl, you would be stupid if you let him go and i had to get myself together i was like girl you're so right you're so right you're so right so we do have to sometimes we have to compromise a little bit another thing with the height you know he might not be six five but he's six two can you right. go with the man because he's six two you know what i mean but settling and compromising just a little bit just a little it's different but i love that <laughs> yeah i was listening i was listening <laughs> I was listening. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so definitely, guys, um, get all the data you need. Do not settle for anything other than what mm -hmm. you're willing to negotiate. And basically, do not be a wife mm -hmm. to someone who hasn't made you his wife. If he doesn't... That, um, ooh, yes! If he hasn't proven to you that he can be your husband, there's no reason for you to prove to him that you can be his wife. Yes, Chloe, you're preaching today, girl. <laughs> 23 types of guys you might meet. They're not all, now listen, I will say this. They're not all bad guys. No, <laughs> no, Mr. Wonderful is in the back. <laughs> They're not, even some of the, what we would say would be considered a bad guy. A will bad not guy. necessarily be bad once you collect all the data. All the data. Because, of course, men are sexual creatures and they're going to want to do things with you. It's about how you, how you handle those situations and how much of that you're allowed to, you allow yourself to give into yeah. it. So, uh -huh. um, yeah, so basically, if you're going to give it, they're going to take it. So you have to be the one to set the standard on what you, yes. your expectations are looking for your husband, potential husband. Right. Or <laughs> And I, I told you, I just flipped to Mr. Crypto Knight. Uh-oh. Y'all, you need to know, you know, Superman is my favorite superhero. He knew what his kryptonite was. You you have to know, honey. What to okay. stay away from. My kryptonite was Mr. 6'8". <laughs> mm. I mean, saying. his voice mm. made stuff tingle. <laughs> You got to but, know what to stay away the, from. It could, it, it, kryptonite couldn't be good for you at all? No, Mr. Kryptonite could be good, but like you just said, what did you just say? You still have to gather the data. That Mr. Kryptonite wasn't good for me. Uh, right. So like like you just said, there's, there's going to be qualities that you're going to find in your potential husband right. and spouse in, in all of these men because some of them, uh -huh. a lot of them are just men in men nature, I would right. say. Right. So mm -hmm. um, you just have to collect it's all the data. All the data. And figure out what's negotiable, <laughs> what's not negotiable, and how much uh, and what you're willing to put in. And right. if you're not putting in the same effort, then you need yeah. to let it go. Uh, let it go. Uh, and let don't go. fall in love. Don't we, we meet a guy and make it. We meet a guy and we say he's it. While they meet us and they're asking, is she it? Mm. 
Mm. And that's mm. that's why they can get up and marry marry the girl in four months because you wasn't it, but she's it. But we've already invested all the energy in it because we say he's it, and we don't even know if he's it. You know? Yeah, we are. Um, we're lovers. That's we're our lovers. downfall as women. We're lovers. Yeah. And we want, we want love and we want to give love. Uh-huh. So we have to take love out of it in the beginning and yes. our actual brain and mm-hmm. not our heart. Yes. How we end up in relationships where we are so head over heels and we deal with a bunch of BS because mm-hmm. we love. Yes. Yes. So mm-hmm. don't fall in love fast. Let don't fall in love. love. Now, when my daddy told me that I was 19 and, and I was crying, I was, oh, he just loved it. She said, My dad said, You need somebody older. I said, He is older. He said, How old is he? I said, He's 24. He said, Baby. That's not older. <laughs> and he said, Don't fall in love. I said, I, I thought that was the stupidest thing ever. I was, What you mean? You know, I love He said, No, 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 grow in love. Mm-hmm. And as as I got older, it made sense because as you get to know the person, you're mm-hmm. growing to, you know, uh, once you get the data, you know, if he's it, if he's not it, bye. Right. Mm-hmm. We got to, we, um, what happened, this is what I think. I think what happens is we fall in love so fast that we don't give the man time to be consistent. Woo! Yes, time, Chloe, girl, you need to do, go back over this video and yeah. write, write all <laughs> Yeah, because by the time we fall yes, in love, yes, this is powerful. Yeah, we fall in love, love. Yes. we fall in love, and then they fall right off, and we still like, I want that old thing. right. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Girl, you need to go back over. You you done said about three or four. I mean, everything is powerful, but these are <laughs> really really good things. You can really, you know, you fall in love so quick. You don't give him enough time to be consistent. So it don't matter if he fall off because you're not seeing it. You're blind. Right. Powerful. Wow. Go put it together. <laughs> okay. Um. Is there anything you want to leave us with about this book? Okay. Yes. So it's available on Amazon, of course, also on my blog. If you want it quick, Amazon is the best shot girl because <laughs> uh, my blog, Jane is Hilton blog. But, but one of, one of the read. go back to that question you asked. Sometimes, you know what, ladies, we don't need, we don't need, let me read it then. We don't need Mr. Sex. Miss, we don't need Mr. Take what you can get. Mr. Sex. That's the one you have read. Mr. Take what you can get, I think. Yes. Mr. Mr. Take Sex. what you can get. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mr. Sex and Mr. I Can and Mr. Physical, Mr. Bates, B A I T S. They use stuff to bait us, like their car, money, right. books, and all of this stuff. Mr. Character, aka Mr. Personality, uh, Mr. Representative. Because oh, that's Mr. Who we're I Want to Get Married. That's yes, him. yes. Mr. Face, Mr. Build a Mail, Mr. Hobo, H O. Make sure you spell. Make sure you always spell this one called H O B O. Sexual hobo, okay. sexual hobo. Okay, and that's the one. Come live with you. Come over for somewhere to live because he ain't got nowhere to live. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Situation Ship, Mr. Professional, Mr. Sexuality, Mr. Crown Myself, Mr. Toxic, Mr. Purpose, Mr. Gift of God, Mr. Sensitivity, Mr. Nurse or Purse. This is the man who is with you because he either needs a nurse or a mm-hmm. purse. Okay, mm-hmm. Mr. Crypto Knight. Mr. Devil, Mr. Demons, Mr. Distractions, Mr. Psalm 23, husband, a.k.a. Mr. Shepherd, Mr. Husband. But sometimes, ladies, some of us need a man named Jesus. So, you guys, definitely get this book if you're looking for a husband. Definitely get this book if you're looking for a partner. Definitely get right. this book because at the end of the day, this will help you make a um, It will help you realize and make a better decision than mm-hmm. you can make on your own. That's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll help you just recognize it. And like I said before, everything is not just because the, um, the name may sound like a bad name. Right. Doesn't necessarily mean that that may not be per- your potential husband. That's right. just a flag that you need to be aware Ooh. of. Yes. Yes. Um, you see patterns. Yes. Of these men. Uh huh. Okay. Because mm-hmm. sometimes they come, they sometimes, your husband may come in a form of, you know, um a dreamer but uh-huh. he has to be putting in his effort for his own dream that's right not that's you right building his dream for him okay? right so there's nothing wrong with a dreamer so you have to take 
you have to take it with the negatives and the positives, okay? <laughs> so you guys, take your time when you yes. are looking for your husband. And once again, do not look for Mr. I want to get married, okay? Let mm -hmm. him prove to you that you are, that he's your husband. That's and don't right. tell him that you are his wife. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's um, right. I enjoyed this conversation. Me too. To, to like put this all together and get it up. Get it up yes. for you guys so that you can hear all this wisdom coming from over here on this side of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I want to get into the naked wife and that's going to be a different video. Um, yeah. Some of the stories from your channel on that, so I'm excited. Uh, and you know, do you know why they're naked wives? Because they didn't do the, they didn't go through this. Okay. Yep. Because you you didn't vet him. Okay. Like like the 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 Mr. Tantrum, huh? She needs to go back to school to get her to get more hours, and he, she needs you to watch the kid. But you're not gonna watch the kid because she didn't pay for you to go for a weekend with your frat brothers. Come on. Because you didn't. And he's the true. And those are true stories, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of them. All of them are true stories. I'm not afraid I'm going to do a 10 year thing. Some of them has remarried and you know, yeah, those are all true stories. And these are all Christian women in the church. These are all, I don't think I have any story in there that's not of a Christian woman because that was a book a request for me by Christian woman that was like, well, you're writing all these books. Can you write a book for us? And that's what the Lord gave me the naked wife. Cause there's a lot of naked wives in the church. Yeah, there, uh -huh. there's a lot of naked wives in general. <laughs> just in general so uh -huh. i definitely agree with that um but yeah so you guys i really really hope you enjoy this I video so. don't forget to go check out janice hilton on church girls want to get married and study the bible and let's see here um uh -huh. don't forget to go get this book okay read this book amazon <laughs> and leave and leave leave a glowing review a glowing review a glowing review and leave your comments <laughs> five down stars below. Yes, five. five. Not, not, not five. <laughs> and leave your comments down below on what you think about this and how do you feel about um some of the guys we talked about. Um, mm -hmm. We would love your feedback. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you, Chloe, for having me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>